गुड आफ्टरनून आई एम नीरज भद्रेसा फ्रॉम आत्मी इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज टुडे वी आर डिस्कस अबाउट सम इम्पोर्टेंस प्रॉब्लम ऑफ द यूनिट नंबर टू दैट इज फंक्शन एंड लिमिट वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस सम ऑफ द इम्पोर्टेंस प्रॉब्लम टुडे वी आर स्टार्टिंग अवर नेक्स्ट सेशन दैट इज बेस ऑन द लिमिट सो अवर बेस फॉर्मूला सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी राइट अवर बेस फॉर्मूला दैट इज लिमिट एन टेन्स टू इनफाइनाइट वन प्लस वन अपॉन एन रेस टू एन इज इक्वल टू ई एन लिमिट एन टेन्स टू जीरो वन प्लस एन रेस टू वन अपॉन एन इक्वल टू अगेन ई सो वी राइट इट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लिमिट एन टेन्स टू इनफाइनाइट वन प्लस वन अपॉन एन रेस टू एन इक्वल टू ई दैट मीन्स वेन एवर वी प्लेस द इनफाइनाइट लिमिट ओवर हियर देन वन अपॉन जीरो फॉर्म एंड द आंसर इक्वल टू हियर ई सेम वे इफ लिमिट एन टेंस टू जीरो वन प्लस एन एन वन अपॉन एन इक्वल टू अगेन ई हाउ कैन वी रिमेंबर दिस हियर वन अपॉन एन एंड द पावर हियर दैट इज इनवर्स दैट इज ओनली एन हियर एन then power that is inverse that is 1 upon n in the both the case our answer that equal to e now we move to our next question and this is our base equation we use this formula for solving the our limit problem so we move to our next question next question that is limit n tends to infinite 1 plus 1 upon n raised to 4n so we write it limit n tends to infinite 1 plus 1 upon n raised to 4n so this is our base formula so we just compare it limit n tends to infinite here n tends to infinite here one here one here 1 upon n here again 1 upon n but if power that is e n then answer that equal to e but here power that is 4n so we just compare our both the equation now we solve this using limit n tends to infinite 1 plus 1 upon n raised to 4n so first of all we write here n and then we put here 4 so multiplication of n and 4 that nothing but 4n so our sum that is equal but now apply limit to here limit n tends to infinite 1 plus 1 upon n raised to n so again we can write in this way limit n tends to infinite 1 plus 1 upon n raised to n 4 now just compare limit n tends to infinite 1 plus 1 upon n raised to n equal to e and here limit n tends to infinite 1 plus 1 upon n raised to n so this total bracket or answer that equal to e and remaining power that is 4 so finally we can write our answer this is nothing called e so finally we can write our answer this is e and raised to 4 so finally our answer that is e raised to 4 so we write it answer that is e raised to 4 now we move to our next question next question that is limit x tends to infinite 1 plus 3 by x raised to x so we write it first limit x tends to infinite 1 plus 3 by x raised to x again we check our main formula here n tends to infinite here x tends to infinite here 1 here 1 here 3 by x here 1 by n and power that is inverse so here n but here x but we required x by 3 if our power that is inverse here 3 by x if our power that is inverse that is x by 
then we can easily put here e so first we adjust our power so in this way we can solve this problem so here limit x tends to infinite as it is 1 plus 3 by x we adjust our power that is nothing but inverse of second term 3 by x inverse that is x by 3 now just check what our actual power our actual power that is x but we divide here 3 so ultimately we won't multiply with 3 so finally this 3 and this 3 cancel out and we can got our original power that is rest to x so we arrange this term limit x tends to infinite 1 plus 3 by x x by 3 here rest to 3 so in this way we just adjust 1 plus 3 by x power adjust that is x by 3 so finally total bracket answer that equal to e because our main formula that is whenever 1 plus 1 upon n raised to n power that is inverse to second term then answer equal to e but n tends to infinite same as here x tends to infinite 1 plus 3 by x inverse power that is x by 3 so total value that becomes e and remaining power that is 3 so we can write it here e this total value is called e and remaining power that is 3 so finally e raised to 3 so we write it our answer our answer that is e raised to 3 now we move to our next question our next question that is limit x tends to 0 1 plus 3x by 4 raised to 5 by x so we write it first limit x tends to 0 1 plus 3x by 4 raised to 5 by x so now first step that is compare this sum to our base formula here limit n tends to 0 here x tends to 0 here 1 again here 1 here n and power that is total inverse that is 1 upon n here 3x by 4 but power that is 5 by x so our first step that is choose the power that we want that is 4 by 3x and adjust our power so first step that is adjust the power so we can write limit x tends to 0 1 plus 3x by 4 we write as it is but actual power that we want that is nothing but 4 divided by 3x that we want because 3x by 4 inverse value that is 4 by 3x now what actual sum gives power that is 5 by x so remaining value that we want to divide here 4 here 5 that means we do not want to 4 so st next step that is divide 4 here 3 divide by 3 but here we do not want 3 in actual power so our next step that is multiply 3 here x and here also x so we do not want to any multiplication division with x but here we want to 5 and here no any 5 value so next step that is multiply with 5 so ultimately just check whether we can got our actual power that is 5 by x or not this 3 and this 3 cancel out this 4 and this 4 again cancel out and remaining power that is 5 by x so here 5 by x so in this way we can adjust our power that we want so now apply 
limit x tends to 0 1 plus 3 x by 4 only this power we want here at present because this is convert our old limit x tends to 0 1 plus 3 x by 4 raised to 4 by 3 x into e. So, this is nothing but our e and just write it down remaining power that is 5 into 3 that is nothing but 15 and remaining value that is 4. So, now again just check it limit x tends to 0 1 plus 3 x by 4 here here n and this n here 3 x by 4 here 1 upon n that means value that is totally inverse n value that is 1 upon n and here 4 by 3 x. So, now our answer that we call e. So, this value that becomes e and remaining value that is 15 by 4. So, remaining value that is 15 by 4. So, finally, e raised to 15 by 4 that is our answer. So, we write it our answer e raised to 15 by 4. So, now we move to our next question. Our next question that is limit x tends to infinite x plus 1 divided by x plus 2 raised to x. So, we write it first limit x tends to infinite x plus 1 divided by x plus 2 raised to x. So, now again our main m that is compare with our base formula whenever limit that is x tends to infinite or n tends to infinite then n, n value that we want that is in 1 upon n form. So, here no any 1 upon x form. So, first step that is nothing but divide with x. So, in this way inside the bracket we can go 1 upon n form and here we can go 1 upon x form and then next step that is prepare with limit. So, our first step that is divide with x all the value limit x tends to infinite x plus 1 divide by x and in denominator x plus 2 divide by x. So, in this way x and x both are cancel out and remaining value that are same and prepare with our power value that is raised to x. Now, next step that is this x apply to in both the side. So, x by x plus 1 upon x. So, x by x that is cancel out and 1 upon x we replace as it is. Same way here this x goes to both the side x by x that is cancel out and 1 and plus 2 by x that we place as it is. So, we write it limit x tends to infinite this x goes to x by x becomes 1 and this x goes to one side becomes 1 upon x divided by this x goes to x side and result that is 1 plus this x goes to second side the result that is 2 by x and power value that is x. So, in this way we can adjust for inside the bracket that is in 1 upon n from here 1 upon x form. So, next step that is prepare with power value. So, our next step that is we can write in this way here limit x tends to infinite 1 of plus 1 upon x raised to x divide by 1 plus 2 by x raised to x because this power that affect numerator as well as denominator. So, we can write limit x tends to infinite 
वन प्लस वन अपॉन एक्स रेस टू एक्स डिवाइड बाई दिस पावर ऑफ एक्ट टू डिनोमिनेटर ऑल्सो वन प्लस टू बाई एक्स रेस टू एक्स सो अवर नेक्स्ट स्टेप दैट इज प्रिपेयर अवर सम विथ पावर वैल्यू सो इफ यू प्रिपेयर दिस सम विथ इज अवर पावर वैल्यू जस्ट चेक इट हियर वन अपॉन एक्स द पावर दैट इज टोटल इनवर्स दैट इज एक्स सो दिस बिकम्स ट्रू फॉर अस नो एनी पावर एडजस्टमेंट नाउ जस्ट चेक इट अवर डिनोमिनेटर हियर वन प्लस टू बाई एक्स बट पावर दैट इज ओनली एक्स बट वी रिक्वायर्ड हियर एक्स बाई टू टू बाई एक्स इनवर्स दैट इज एक्स बाई टू सो इन डिनोमिनेटर we want to adjust the power so our next step that is limit x tends to infinite adjust the power of our denominator side so here 1 plus 1 upon x raised to x as it is no any power adjustment because here 1 upon x and here x divide by here 1 Plus two by x. So first step, that is what we want. That is x by two. That we want. And now next step, just check it. What is actual power? So actual power that is x here x, but here two, and here don't two. So ultimately, our next step that is multiply with two. So this two and this two. Finally, both are cancelled out, and remaining power x that is as it is. Now again, next step that is nothing but apply limit to both this side, numerator as well as denominator. So when we apply the limit, we can write in this way: limit x tends to infinite one plus one upon x raised to x. Divided by apply limit to this denominator side also. Limit x tends to infinite one plus two by x 